Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla. So yeah, some news came out over the weekend that the SEC uh, settled charges with Tesla, with Elon Musk, so he's going to remain as the CEO, but he does have to step down as the chairman. For him, uh, a $20 million fine is just a slap on the wrist since he is a billionaire. So uh, also, uh, over the weekend, Tesla put out information here, Elon Musk uh, told him employees that they're very close to profitability. So as you can see here, Verge on making a profit. So uh, yeah, the uh so, so we've got uh, some some bullish news came out over the weekend for Tesla, and so you would think that that's got to get the share price moving on Monday. If you look here at Tesla on Friday, it was down 13.9 percent. Check out the put options. Check this out down here: the September 28th 270 strike up 33,566 percent in one day. 33,000. It's up $10 and, and seven cents in one day. This started the day at three cents and end of the day at $10 and 10 cents. That's why people trade options right there. I mean, look at the percentage gains. Even if you just had $100 in there, 200 bucks, it, it would have been a, a, the trade of a lifetime. Same thing with this 270 strike. Look at this, 26,150. So, so, you know, started it, it, it started the day at two cents and closed at 525. This is why people trade options. So this is something that if you're uh, looking to day, to, to day trade, this is where you want to take your game eventually. This is the holy grail of trading. Now let's take a look at call options. Notice how they got destroyed on Friday, especially these expirations that, that were expiring here on the 28th. Um, you know, for, So the October 5th, uh, I'm thinking, are going to be in play um, tomorrow with, with this bullish news uh, that could have a, a, a bear squeeze going for people that were still pressing to the downside with the positive news. I, I feel like personally that this news came out a little bit sooner than I was expecting. I thought maybe this would be drawn out a little bit longer. So this should be a bullish surprise to the upside. Side. So keep an eye on Tesla calls tomorrow. You know the uh, if if I'm gonna go over the charts, but uh, they, they could really heat up after uh, pulling back uh, big time on Friday. So let's look at the charts. This is the Tesla chart that I posted uh, uh, on uh, Thursday when it was uh, um, uh, p p uh, under pressure, and, and so that I posted that this was after hours on Thursday. You know that it was under pressure, and, and that um, you know the, the it was breaking that day. The, the, the candle was showing up, and it was breaking below the middle Bollinger Band, and I posted that the target was down here at this gap. There was a gap between the 7th and the 10th, and, and so the gap fill was the target down here in the 270 support zone, and notice how it came right down there with the gap down open, filled that level, and, and then it, it, the candle formed in between the gap level and then the closing price in the 7th. It was able to stay above that closing price. Okay, so that's going to be a key level to hold. Now, now maybe my uh, thesis is wrong, and, and Tesla, the bears are going to still put and if they do still are able to get momentum to the downside, uh, 260 is going to be a big level to hold. If you see it breaking below 260, you're going to be looking at the 250s down here in this lower wick. Now, notice the giant volume spike on, on Friday. So a lot of uh, uh, bears were locking in gains. We're going to see if uh, some bulls there were, uh, you know, got got uh, got lucky over the weekend with the good news and, and we're playing those calls. Well, um, so, so the big thing now is going to uh, be this gap. There's a gap between high of day on Friday and low of day on Thursday. That's a big gap. In between the gap is the middle Bollinger Band. And so the middle Bollinger Band right here is going to be the next target with EMA4 if it can get above the bottom of the gap. There there might be, you know, we I don't know. I am anticipating a gap up open tomorrow. That's how I'm reading the news. I could be wrong, but that's how I'm looking at it. And so what you want to see is a break above this, uh, what is this, 278. That's the bottom of the gap. So if it's trading above 278, it needs to stay above that bottom of the gap level, if it can, it could work its way back up to this middle Bollinger Band at, at 290.72. That's going to be the big level. Once it gets back above that, then you're looking at a potential gap fill up here. So we just have to see how hard they're going to press the bulls and and uh, see uh, or the bears and, and see if we can get a, a, a bear squeeze going tomorrow. If you look here at the Tesla, uh, this is a daily chart that I've been working on. This These are annotations are old. Um, you can see here RSI was down at 34, but it still wasn't 
jump below that 30 level. For future reference, when you see RSI get below 30 for Tesla, th th that's a good buy signal. Uh, it, it technically bounces below that level. It, it, you have Fasto at 7.5, so it, it, 7.75. So it was, it, it was at extreme over oversold levels here at Fasto. So many times you get a technical bounce off that level. That's what I'm anticipating tomorrow. Notice how uh, minus DI was spiking pretty hard there. That's a steep trajectory that that can be unsustainable. Um, it was pushing hard to the downside. So so you can see the big gap here. You know the top of the gap is way up here, and then the bottom of the gap is down here. And, and, and so basically, if it stays above the top of this candle, it could bounce, get above the the, the bottom of the gap, and possibly head back up to that middle Bollinger Band. Now to the downside. Let's say I'm totally wrong and it broke below the, the, this this support level, the 260 support zone. Then you're looking at a drop down here. The, the lower wick, the bounce here on the 7th, was right off of the low close on in, in April, the start of April. That was the low close. So that's right there at about 252, 253. And that would be the key level to have a technical bounce if it did pull back to the downside. Okay, And, and like I said, I'm anticipating a bounce. Um, that, that's what I would think would happen here, especially if people were still uh, heavily bearish the, the market makers could get a good squeeze going uh, we have the 15 minute chart here um, down 14 percent and so basically what I want to show you is, is this is a chart we were working on in the chat on on, on Friday and, and so when this candle happened at 1130 it was like okay it's heating up it got finally got above EMA 4 after dropping below but notice how it quickly got back below that level and, and all these candles were below EMA 4 till down here in the close it heated up so what's got to happen it has to stay above EMA EMAs 4 and 8. Basically, you want to see Tesla stay above 265. And, and then once it gets above 268, above this middle Bollinger Band here, that's when it can get cruising. And then the big level to have on, uh, you know, to, to keep track of tomorrow is 278. That is the bottom of the gap, the gap between a high of day on Friday and, and low of day up here on on. Uh, on Thursday. And so right up here around 306 or so, 307 is going to be the top of the gap. But but what you really are concerned about tomorrow is getting above the bottom of the gap and then staying above that level. If it fails to stay above that level, that would signal temporary top. The, the upside potential is a run up here to the 50 simple moving average at 288.29. It has to get above the middle Bollinger Band and the 50 simple moving average to get a good new uptrend going on the 15 minute chart. Okay, thanks for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis and how to use this information to uh, target your entry and exit points, please come check out the chat. I use the chat to explain the technical analysis all through the training day. So each each chart is a lesson where, where you can learn analysis in real time. And so, yeah, and it's all for a very low price. So please come check out the premium chat. I would love to have you there. Okay, thank you.